everybody, it's Amy from CraftyMcFangirl.com. Thanks for joining me for today's Welcome to Night Vale Inspired Project. It's a polymer clay trinket box with a glow-in-the-dark glow cloud on top as a handle. All of the materials for this project are linked in the description below the video, both on YouTube and at CraftyMcFangirl.com. You can use either a metal cookie cutter or a glass jar for this project. Choose one based on the size you want your box to be. Be sure not to choose anything that will melt in the oven. Purple and Black Polymer Clay I used Purple Pearl by Primo. Fimo Fluorescent Polymer Clay Some clay tools for cutting and smoothing. Translucent Liquid Sculpey Any kind of water-based glaze or gloss sealer. And an optional step is to add some glitter paint. I started by looking at some reference online at commonplacebooks.com. I knew I wanted to include the eye symbol, the water tower, and the desert landscape. If you use a jar instead of a cookie cutter, wrap some tape evenly around your jar to mark the height of your trinket box. Roll out a strip of purple clay to about a quarter inch thickness. Trim one edge evenly and wrap the clay around your jar along your tape marker. Trim and join the ends. Then evenly cut around the bottom of the jar. Once your edges are smooth, remove the tape before baking. Bake according to the instructions on your clay package. Baking time and temperature will vary by clay brand and the size of your project. Roll out some black clay to about a quarter of an inch thickness. Once your purple clay has cooled, cut around the purple shape to create the bottom of the box. Then carefully remove the baked purple clay from your jar or cookie cutter. You may need to use an X-Acto blade to loosen it before pulling it off the mold. Use translucent liquid Sculpey to attach the bottom of the box. Bake according to the instructions on your clay package. To make the lid, roll out two pieces of purple clay, about a quarter of an inch thick. Use your baked and cooled trinket box to trace the lid shape onto one piece of clay. Trim away the excess and smooth the edges. Then cut a second circle of purple clay, a little smaller than the first. These two pieces form the lid of your trinket box. Smooth the edges and attach it to the first circle using translucent liquid Sculpey. Bake according to the instructions on your clay package. Next, it's time to make the glow cloud handle. You can make your glow cloud look any way you want to. I started with several balls of glow-in-the-dark clay. All of them were different sizes. I started with the largest one and added more as I went along, shaping and smoothing the clay until I got a cloud I was happy with. You can leave your glow cloud plain or decorate it however you want. I decided to add a little bit of texture to my cloud. I used an old toothbrush as a texturing tool. Bake according to the instructions on your clay package. While your glow cloud is baking and cooling, it's time to paint your trinket box. I used black paint for the desert terrain, connecting the pattern to the black clay of the bottom of the box. Looking at my reference again, I decided to add the water tower and the house roof with the TV antenna. Next came the eye. I used dark purple for the eye shape and white for the crescent moon. 
while my paint was drying, I decided to add glitter paint to my now baked and cooled glow cloud. You can decorate your glow cloud however you want. You might try neon paint or leave it plain if you like. But be aware, the more paint you put on your cloud, the less glow it will have. If you want it to glow brightly, be sparing with the paint you use. The final step is to paint your box with a gloss sealer. Make sure you paint the outside, inside, and the top and bottom of the lid. Once your gloss sealer is dry, your trinket box is done, ready to hold all of your little secrets. And at night time, the glow cloud will shine brightly to remind you that when you wish upon a star, it's actually a satellite and your wish has been recorded and cataloged. An agent is now assigned to your case. Thanks for joining me for today's tutorial and remember, all hail the glow cloud. Thank you.